Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is all about getting back on track post vacation, getting back to your weight loss journey after a vacation, getting back on track in general, feeling like yourself again after vacation. So if you like that sort of thing, you're gonna love this video. I'm taking you through my workout. I'm taking you through food, a grocery haul, um, easy meal ideas to have throughout the day and also just my top tips and things that I use personally and that we use with our Fit and Balanced one-on-one -on -one coaching clients to just get back in a schedule and get back to seeing progress after a vacation, which I know can be really stressful for a lot of people. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these sorts of videos. If you like learning about anything fitness and health related, reverse dieting, different nutritional phases, how to get back on track after a vacation, um, good workout tips and form cues, like it's all coming your way via the tube so youtube <laughs> so don't forget like and subscribe and if you don't already follow me on instagram and tiktok because i post a ton of tips there as well um, and my name everywhere is jc lynn fit so you know where to find me here we go here we go again time is up and i'm calling up Okay, the groceries are all organized, so I'll show you what we're eating this week. And my tips for getting back on track after vacation are literally just get back to your normal routine. There's no reason to restrict or slash your calories or do extra cardio or don't eat yummy food when you get back from vacation to make up for it. What's most important is you just get straight back to your normal routine. If you start trying to be all restrictive, then I pretty much guarantee you're gonna start binging and that's not a vibe. So let me show you what we're eating this week. We're having chicken alfredo, tacos, Mongolian beef and rice, and then buffalo chicken, shredded, shredded buffalo chicken. So here are all the ingredients for that. We got our mac and cheese, which we're the, sometimes when we go to the grocery store, we just get some like fun stuff, okay? And if you haven't tried the bonza mac and cheese, it's really good. So we got some mac and cheese if we don't feel like cooking our normal food. But for our actual meals, oh, also Derek has to have these. <laughs> Comment below if you eat these. Okay, so for buffalo chicken, we throw chicken in the crock pot with onions and this. Simple. Mm. Um, for chicken alfredo, we cook chicken and pasta and we put this on it. We don't make our own alfredo sauce. For Mongolian beef and rice, we have to make the sauce for that, but soy sauce. Okay, now that I'm in a deficit, I'm hungry. So I have to eat a ton of fruits and veggies to stay full. So we have a ton of bell peppers, zucchini, apples, avocados, broccoli, spinach, bananas, these little salad kits. I don't actually eat the kit. I just eat the, take the salad out and I put bowl house ranch on top. Got raspberries. Got blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, pineapple. I eat like a big bowl of fruit every single night to help keep me full. And I have a, a load of veggies every single meal to keep me full. Uh, we got some bread to have with eggs in the morning. Derek likes chocolate chips and his waffles. Um, and then here's all of our meat. So we have the chicken breast tenders that we're gonna have for our chicken Alfredo. <laughs> we have our chicken breast fillets that we're gonna throw in the crock pot and shred. We got ground turkey, which we've never actually made tacos with ground turkey before, so we'll see how that is. We got ground turkey to make with tacos, and then this is for the Mongolian beef. We got some bacon. We got some sandwich stuff, just in case we can't cook one day. It's just easy to have sandwiches. Um, tortillas, potatoes, carbs, and then some random stuff that we got, again, in case we are just like too in a hurry to cook are some easy stuff like this, which we're actually having right now. And <laughs> we're gonna heat up right now. This bird's eye veggie mac and cheese. And then I'm gonna try this. I've never had it before, but it's mashed cauliflower. Normally I would never get it. And I don't know why I got it today, but we're gonna try it. And today for lunch, since we need to go to the gym, we have work to do. We just got back from vacation yesterday. We're having these chicken tenders. <laughs> which are from Costco and they're delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Don't they remind you of Chick-fil-A? Yeah, they're good. So we're having these chicken tenders. I'm gonna have like four ounces. I'm gonna have half of this mashed cauliflower. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have half of this veggie mac and cheese. And I'm gonna give the other half to Derek because I have nice. Let me 
you see your gym outfit. Okay, so we're going to the gym before work and it's really snowy and icy, but we're going anyways because Derek's confident. Are you confident? Super confident. We're just gonna slowly make our way there. I got my Pop-Tart for my pre-workout and what I wanted to just say to you, since this video is all about getting back on track after vacation, um, is just get back into your normal routine. So that's exactly what I've done this week and what we've done and you don't have to do anything extra you don't have to add extra cardio you don't have to add extra workouts you just have to get back in routine and what's really important is getting back into your normal schedule so for instance we normally work out um, a couple days a week before work and then we work out on the weekends four days a week total so we are working out before work today and that's what we've tried to do <laughs> every day and sometimes it can be hard um, and we've had some evening workouts, but what's really important is getting back into your normal routine, normal sleep schedule, bedtime wake up, and all of that, and then just go through your normal workouts. You don't have to do anything extra. I will, however, recommend going light for your lifts, because if you don't, you'll be really, really sore. So instead of doing extra and going really hard, I would actually dial back on intensity and make sure you're not training too hard and you're not overtraining and you're not getting too sore. So there's that. I'll show you the workout that we're doing today. It's legs. It's a really good glute building workout. So that's exciting. What's up, Daisy? <laughs> Down. Okay, so we are done with our workout. I'm not even gonna lie and say that it was the best workout ever. It wasn't, but we still got to the gym and that's something I still struggle with too is if I don't have the best workout, I feel icky about it but we still went to the gym which is better than nothing and like I said in the car on the way there it's really important to not go overboard or expect to hit PRs after a vacation um, but now we are eating breakfast so let me show you so I'm having oatmeal protein oats with banana and peanut butter um, for breakfast and we're keeping it really simple and easy today because it's a busy day full of work and after a vacation it's just nice to keep it really simple and easy Okay, so for my protein oats, I have oatmeal, protein, I put almond milk in it and water, and then a banana and peanut butter. 
Um, so my oats are on the stove getting ready and I wanted to talk about the scale because I know a lot of women and I know a lot of our clients have been balanced um, can be a little bit attached to the scale and the scale going up, especially post vacation, which definitely happens. And I wanted to talk about my personal experience because we just got back from a vacation and I was like four pounds or five pounds heavier than when we left. And if you watch my previous videos and you know I'm in a deficit right now, um, but the thing is, that is so normal. The scale fluctuates, which is why with our clients and with myself, we look at the trend of the scale. So not one single way in, but is it going up or is it going down or is it staying the same? And the trend is what matters over like three to four to six plus weeks of consistency. What is the trend doing? And right now the trend of my scale is going down. Um, but it bumped up post vacation, which is really, really normal from all of the extra sodium, being out of routine, lacking sleep, being a little bit stressed, diving back into work, um, being dehydrated, like all of those things contribute to the scale. So when the scale goes up or down, it's not always um, fat, fat loss or fat gain. It, it can be a whole lot of other things and it's already back down those four pounds that it was up just in a few days. Look, can you not? She hates being held. <laughs> the scale's already back down um, from just a few days of getting back into a normal routine. So if the scale's up, you don't have to freak out about it or do extra cardio or extra workouts. Just get back into your normal routine, hit your protocols. It will go back down within a couple days. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you don't wanna change Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to If you don't wanna change I can help you out, I can help you out, I can Okay, there's breakfast. Gotta get my caffeinated beverage over the day, which is Alani New uh, Breeze Berry, which is really, really good. If anyone's wondering, Derek always eats waffles and bacon for breakfast. Did you, uh, yeah. Did you give uh, Cheyenne some peanut butter? Yeah. Okay. So there's breakfast. That's all we're doing. Workout, breakfast. Okay, it's lunchtime. I am absolutely starving. I am starving and I forgot we have to make potatoes to go with our sandwiches. So I'm super mad about that because that's going to be an extra, you know. God, how, 10 minutes? 10 minutes that I don't get to eat. Um, so I got to chop up these potatoes and then we're just going to make sandwiches. So it's going to be a pretty easy chill lunch. But while I'm chopping up these potatoes, I want to talk about um, my strategy for like, you know, getting back on track after vacation and whatnot. And my strategy is doing the same things that I was doing before I left for vacation. So there's no need, hopefully you have gathered by now, there's no need to eat less or restrict your calories or eat super healthy um, and not have like takeout or anything or, you know, like there's just no need to be super restrictive or obsessed about it. Just get back to your normal like eating routine. So every day since we've gotten back, since we got groceries the day after we got back, which was phenomenal, I've hit my macros every single day with really easy meals. That's all you gotta do. Like just get back to getting your macros. And in doing so, the scale's already gone down again and like I've not done a single thing extra. So the strategy is do what you did before your vacation and just get back to your normal routines. Get back to hitting your protocols get back to hitting your steps, get back to getting your workouts in, uh, get back to drinking your water, like whatever your protocols are, get back to hitting them and then you're fine. I can help you out. I can help you 
Okay, so this is lunch. Just some roasted potatoes in the air fryer, a sandwich, and then a side of ranch. And I am absolutely starving because I haven't eaten since breakfast. So, bye. Time is up and I'm calling up my friends. Ain't no wonder why, ain't no wonder why to. Here we go, here we go again. Call me up and you want to be Okay, we just got back from a walk because it finally cleared up enough to like walk without sliding all over the place. If you're in Texas, there's like two days a year where it's just ice and we don't know how to walk or drive in it, okay? If you're not in Texas, you're used to it and good for you, okay, good for you. But I am getting hungry again, so I'm looking at my fitness pal. Already had breakfast, already had lunch. Today I already have pre-tracked some yogurt and string cheese. Um, and I'm pretty much hitting all my macros today already pre-tracked. So I'm gonna have, I'm thinking some string cheese. Two things of string cheese. And that will be my snack. So I know you're supposed to like eat it like in a string, but I only have one hand. And here lately, anytime I've been eating string cheese, I've been like busy with my other hand. So I've just like been eating it like a savage. So let me know, is that, pro is that acceptable or not? Okay, it's finally dinner time. I am also starving. For dinner, we're just heating up leftovers that we made yesterday. Love that. Love to not have to cook a full on meal. Okay, so while all of my food is heating up, we're just having basic tacos. So tortilla, meat, it's ground turkey today, peppers, salsa, cheese, like just your basic tacos. But I just wanted to make today really simple and easy and that's what we like to focus on after a vacation. And I want you to know, like you don't have to overcomplicate it. How many times have I probably said that? And also, you are a product of what you do a majority of the time. So just because maybe you went a little too hard on vacation or had too much to drink or too much to eat or whatever, it's one week out of the year. It's not a significant percentage of the year for you to feel bad about. So if the majority of the time you're hitting your protocols, you're gonna see awesome progress. Now, if you're not, then we have some work to do. But if you are, then enjoy your vacation guilt-free and don't worry about it. Okay, so this is dinner. It's just normal tacos, like I said. Don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple. Eat normal food like a normal human being. Okay, work is done. Everything's done for the day. I have one final, didn't put the tortillas up. I have one final snack to eat today for this kind of like, I don't wanna call it a day of eating, but just like how to get back on track post vacation and stuff. And that one final snack, yogurt blueberry yogurt it's oikos triple zero um 100 calories 15 grams of protein 10 grams of carbs so really good way to kind of cap off your carbs and protein for the day and then i'm done so that's exciting now it's time to take a bubble bath and read hey p.s i don't think i've mentioned this to you guys before yet um but what kind of books do you like because if you like A Court of Thorns and Roses or From Blood and Ash or um, Ravenhood series or you know anything like that, then we're friends. And I would like to know what you're reading and then I'll tell you what I'm reading and then we can swap books. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna go take a bath <laughs> and I'm gonna be done with the day clocking out at 8.30 p.m. Hopefully you like this video. If it was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be so many more coming your way all about all things health and fitness. So if you have any questions or you have any requests, shoot them in the comments. Um, I'll, I'll make what you want me to make. That's really important to me. And yeah, that's all. That's all for today. We're done. <laughs>